Natural rubber is a key industry commodity and is present in many of the goods in our daily lives. Unlike other commodities, the natural rubber industry is driven by smallholder farmers who own about 1 to 2 hectares of land each. Natural rubber is the main source of livelihood and employment for these farmers. However, in recent years, the yield of natural rubber coming from smallholder farmers in most parts of rubber growing region has been decreasing. Improper tapping techniques play a big role in farmers having lower yields. This video module shares best tapping techniques with smallholder farmers. Farmers will learn how to assess the readiness of trees for tapping, mark tapping panels, maintain correct tapping direction and angle, mark tapping cuts, use the appropriate tapping knives, tap with the correct thickness and depth, place tapping gutters and latex collection cups, adopt optimum tapping timing and frequency, apply stimulants and tap juvenile and old trees. The rubber stem layer consists of an outer layer bark, a middle layer cambium, and a core layer wood. The outer layer bark protects the tree and its thickness ranges from 7 to 8 mm. The latex vessels are found in this section. The middle layer cambium of the tree carries nutrients and water to the leaves and if cut off, will interfere with the development of the tree. The core layer wood forms the heart of the tree. Here's a list of the tools and equipment you will need before you start tapping. For trees to be ready for tapping, they must have a circumference of 45 cm or more and a bark thickness of 7 to 8 mm. The tree girth must be measured to plan how many tapping panels can be marked out. For trees grown from clones, Girth must be measured 100 cm above the ground. For trees not grown from clones, girth must be measured 50 cm from the ground. Depending on the type of tree, at either 50 cm or 100 cm above the ground, place a rope around the tree trunk and measure 1 cm at the bends of the rope to allow for 2 cm between the tapping panels on the tree. Use a permanent marker to mark 1 cm from the ends and the bends of the rope. Wrap the rope back around the tree and mark the tree based on the markings on the rope. This shows where the tapping panels will be and mark them by making lines on the tree. Using a plastic template, make a cut of about 20 to 30 cm in length on the tapping panel of the tree. The height of the tapping opening must be 130 cm from the ground. Latex vessel flow from top right to bottom left on a tree. Cuts must be made across the vessels, from top left to bottom right. A tapping angle of 45 degrees, measured by folding a piece of paper, Cuts diagonally across the latex vessel to provide maximum flow of latex out of the tree. The tilt angle of the downward drag panel is 30 degrees and the upward panel is 45 degrees. To mark a tapping panel, start at the top point of each tapping panel, about 130 cm from the ground. Use a plastic template to draw lines at a 30 degree angle on the tree using a permanent marker. Measure 2.25 cm between the lines and mark them out to the bottom of the tapping panel. Mark 13 lines so that there are 12 big strips, one for each month. Then, 
Cut each strip into 10 fine strips of about 1mm each for each tapping. There are two types of tapping knives. The downward tapping knife, which is convex, is used to tap down the panel for young trees. The upward tapping knife, which is concave, is used to tap up the panel for older trees. Maintain a tapping depth of 1mm. Tap till a maximum depth of 6 to 7 mm as tapping beyond this limit will damage the cambium of the tree. The latex cup serves to prevent latex to be wasted. Use a good quality cup so that the coagulated latex can be easily emptied during collection. Place the latex cup 15 cm from the gutter. Use a wire cup ring to hold the cup to the tree. A tapping gutter drains latex into the latex cup. The gutter should be affixed at the bottom of the tapping incision and 15 cm from the latex cup. The gutter must be 2.5 cm wide and 8 cm long. The rubber tree needs two days to fill its latex vessels. If tapped too often, the quality and volume of latex become low. Tapping must be done every three days. For young trees aged 5 to 15 years, tap downwards with the panel facing a north-south direction to avoid direct sunlight. For a tree with girth of about 45 cm, there must be two panels with 2 cm spacing between them. A convex downward tapping knife must be used, and stimulants are not required. For trees older than 15 years, tap upwards on the panel. There can be 3 to 5 tapping panels all around the trunk with about 2 cm horizontal spacing between them. Maintain a vertical distance of 15 cm between panels one above another. The maximum tapping height is 3.25 meters from the ground. A concave upward tapping knife attached to a wooden pole must be used and stimulants may be applied. When applying stimulants, Ensure that you wear gloves for your personal safety. To use stimulants, you will need a bucket, a brush, and a stick. Dilute 500 milliliters of stimulant in 1 liter of warm water in the bucket and stir it with the stick. Apply it using a brush directly into the tapping incision. Remove any dried latex from the incision before applying so that the stimulant can seep into the latex vessels. For upward tapping, the stimulant must be applied just above the tapping incision. Refer to graphical table showing which days to perform tapping and apply stimulant. Natural rubber is a key source of income for many smallholder farmers. With global rubber demand for natural rubber projected to increase year on year, smallholder farmers must exploit this market potential. For this reason, all aspects of natural rubber cultivation, starting from adopting proper tapping techniques, must be considered to enhance the quality and yield of natural rubber produced by smallholder farmers.